Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Risk of Rain. I'm Nye, and we're going to start up single player. Just failed a mercenary run. I'm not sure what I want to do. You know what? I want to do a bandit run. I feel like doing a bandit run on Monsoon. That sounds like a fun thing to do. So we're going to play as the bandit. Bandit's not considered to be a particularly good class. I like him because of his incredible rate of fire. But a lot of people comment that uh, things like his uh, ultimate, which I just used twice there, uh, the ultimate says that when it lands, and if it is successfully able uh, to land a kill, all of his cooldowns are refreshed. Basic attack just has an incredibly high rate of attack and is really good for any on hit effects. Uh, and if you squeeze the trigger multiple times, as opposed to just holding it down, you get a higher rate of attack by about 0.3% uh, so or something like that. Good stuff. Uh, his second ability throws Dynamite, which just has an AoE damage effect. His third ability is Smokescreen. I've heard it referred to as Wind Walking. Enemies become completely unaware of your presence for about three seconds or so. And uh, when you pop out of the Wind Walking effect, you do a AoE stun around you. Good stuff. And then, of course, there is Lights Out, that final ability, which uh, says that if it happens to get the kill, all of your stuff's reset. So one of the ideas is to weaken, then Lights Out, then Wind Walk Away. having a good time of it here. The only item I have right now is, of course, the Bustling Fungus. And Bustling Fungus has the wonderful effect that if you stand still for about two seconds, you'll start regenerating health at a rate of a crap... I'm bummed. You regenerate health at about a rate of 5% uh, per second per fungus. Which adds up. More fungi, more fungi you have, better your life's gonna be. Better thing, the uh, worm will apparently not attack if it can't detect you. Very cool. Go away. Go away. Oh boy, I really do not want to die now. Something will go away. I need to get some health back. Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> With a hyper threader too. <coughs> Let's try again. Hyper threader says that anytime I fire off a shot, I would fire off as well a uh single red needle of damage that would uh, fly along on a predetermined path, and if it hits any enemy, it would then ricochet onto a second one and deal uh, I forget what the damage is, something like 40% damage. Really, really, really good item, and on a character like uh, Bandit, that would have been super. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out that way, which is fine. I can't remember the last time I played Bandit in single player. So this time we got a Wandering Vagrant. Vagrant probably... Whoa! Probably a better enemy for me to fight as Bandit. Interesting effects that the Bandit, when he goes into his uh, invisibility mode, when he starts wind walking, nobody seems to be able to find him, which includes the Vagrants. But they will still kind of drift. Still trying to drift in your direction. Okay, so we want to keep moving here. The Wandering Vagrant's probably the biggest threat on the field right now. So I want to be able to get as much damage on him as humanly possible. 
get rid of him first. The problem is he's shielding that blasted little guy. So I'm trying to get rid of the little, you know, jellyfish, and the vagrant is just shielding it, which is a pain in the ass. There's a goat hoof up there. If I can reach it and get it, it will increase my base speed by an amount that I don't know the answer to. Some amount more than zero, basically. The vagrant is just shielding everybody. So I can't hit anybody. I can't kill anybody. And now I'm dead. I was having a bad time with Bandit. I'm not very good at him. Kind of glad that we died there before I had picked up any good items. But yeah, that was causing me just endless trouble because I was trying to... Was trying to play, basically, and the Vagrant was just shielding everybody so I couldn't kill anybody. And then the Vagrant wouldn't die for obvious reasons. Should just... Could, should have just been kiting some more, basically. Got a shield generator over there, which gives you invincibility for a short period of time. That is definitely tempting, but the, uh... Hmm. I like the war banner better. I'll just pop up here. Get back here, and we're just gonna fire some long, or some long period of time. So unfortunately, oh, there we go. Unfortunately, jellies just don't care for the bandits' nonsense. And neither do the Myrians, especially when I'm doing crap like I just pulled. They just jump up and go, nope, you're not gonna hide there. No, go away. Nobody loves you. You're adopted. Okay, let's keep on working on this Colossus and deal a lot of damage to him. Definitely not gonna last long. He should probably, yep, spawn a friend soon. Spawn a friend is like bowling a friend and he wants to be a millionaire. And down goes the Colossus. Getting the boxing gloves is actually a really good thing for me because boxing gloves will uh, knock enemies back, which is something that the bandit wants. He wants enemies to be knocked back to give him room to work. Having that is really nice. And War Banner is also really nice. As War Banner says that upon leveling up, I get to increase my attack speed, health regen, and attack damage too. That was the knockback effect a couple times just now. The Carrera Marble that I just picked up is not my favorite item. I've yet to find an effective way to really use it. What it says is that upon use, it'll drop a... There's this. Let me just sit here and that. Perfect. Carrera Marble says that upon use, it's going to drop a teleporter. Like a little pseudo-portal that's going to sit there until I choose to reactivate it. And upon reactivation, I will then teleport directly to the portal that I had dropped. Uh, the best use of this is going to be to drop it onto the teleporter itself, so that way I can go explore and then cut my travel time in half. Uh, which is really helpful, because you got to remember that the game is kind of based on clear speed. So the faster I clear uh, any given area, the more safe I'm going to be. You know, the more, uh, the more areas I finish, things like that. Uh, and the, you know less high-level enemies I'm going to have to deal with. Proton Jetpack is actually going to be really helpful. I really like the Jetpack for a lot of reasons. Uh, I really wish I had gotten this in one of the previous runs, but, um... You know what? I'm, I'm going to pick up the uh, Shield Generator, because it just it's too useful. Not bad. See, what I would have done is... Oh, okay, hold on. I completely forgot that Tier 2 is down there. We need to go find ourselves a canister. <coughs> There's one over there. What I would have done is dropped a Karara marble right next to the teleporter and then gone to explore in this direction. But, um... Yeah, well, obviously I'm not using the Karara marble anymore. Okay, I think we're just gonna hit this uh, Tier 2 chest here and then we're gonna leave, because there's no way I'm making enough money to open up that Tier 1 over there. Thallium's fantastic. So, 
from left to right we have our uh, knockback effect chance upon hitting to knock back enemies a considerable distance. It's not any small distance. It's pretty good, and uh, it's got a fairly high rate of uh, proc. So knock back enemies give me a little bit more room to move, especially if I'm going to be rapid firing my gun. You know, we can do this for a while, so it's a really, really good effect. Then we have the war banner, of course, upon leveling up. I dropped my war banner, which you saw a little bit earlier, which increases my attack speed, increases my attack damage, increases my regen. Uh, just all over good, good stuff. We want to keep using that as much as humanly possible. We have the, uh, monster tooth down there that says upon killing an enemy, I will be able to get some health back. Just flat. That's it. Really, really good effect. The Mysterious Vial down there is giving me just increased passive health regen, which is also really fantastic. You've already seen the effect of the Photon Jetpack. It's what's allowing me to hover right now. Which is generally just amazing. You know, that's, that's something you want to see. Wow, I'm already getting crap ton of damage. We're going to want to go explore and not take a crap ton of damage. Wow, I have... Okay, this is good. Let's sit here for a while. Or not, never mind. I'll just get popped in the face by the, uh... By the Wisp. I didn't even know that I was in range of the Wisp. I'm doing so terribly. Okay, we're gonna try one more, and then I'm gonna put this guy up for a while because I'm just doing badly. Three deaths in in eleven minutes. That that's terrible. I'm not even having a chance to finish talking about the items we have before I'm dead. Part of it is that I'm uh I'm running the bandit in a contrary to way how I'm supposed to be run. I'm sitting and fighting. And the bandit really wants to run. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to make a stand. He's very much a hit and run tactics guy. And stuff like this is his worst nightmare. But the problem is, if I don't deal with it now, when exactly am I going to deal with it? Oh, God damn it! Go away. There is a goat hoof down there that I desperately want. Well, not desperately, but it would be of tremendous use. Uh, that I'm really tempted to get the barbed wire, but being able to move faster is, in my opinion, almost definitely better than a passive damage effect. Let's get over here. Now that I've repositioned, I can keep firing. That's why I wanted the goat hoof. Just repositions. Ow! Okay, we'll be leaving. It's fine. I know when I'm not wanted. We'll go over here then. Let's kill this guy real quick. Uh, I'm gonna hit the random here. Wow, that was not worth it. I would prefer the bustling fungus. Leveling up a fair amount. Let's see, I've got more uh, crabs. Which sucks. Old box is good. Old box is a wonderful, wonderful effect, which says that if I'm hit, there's a chance I'm gonna proc a jack in the box, and uh, the jack in the box will scare the enemies away from me for a short period of time. This gives me room to maneuver. I have the money to do most of what I want to do, unfortunately. Apparently, a lot of the enemies despawn as well. I'm not doing this guy. I want to be hitting him. Oh god, look at all of these really good boxes. I don't think I'm gonna, like, there's, there's at least three level twos just within immediate distance, and I'm not gonna have the money for them. Several enemies seem to have despawned, and that sucks. That really does. Uh, what I need is I need 150 gold. That's what I need, and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Oh, God, that sucks. 
Now what I could do is I could farm the Colossus, because the Colossus will spawn enemies for me. So I could always farm off the Colossus and just get him to spawn a crap ton of enemies for me. But you're talking about diminishing returns in that case. Mostly because uh, of the time thing. Let's let him do his thing. I have 120 gold. Pop over here. Kill these guys. We come down here. Miss. I got 141, so I should be able to get my 150. I would be incredibly surprised if I didn't. possibility though. Actually, an ATG Mark 1's fantastic. So ATG Mark 1 says, yes, I got my 150 gold. ATG Mark 1 says that upon hit of one of my attacks, uh, there is a 10% chance that I will fire off a missile that will do some percentage of damage of my base damage. Uh, the important part about that is just that it does a crap ton of damage. And, uh, damn it. And the more of these I stack up, the higher percent chance that there that I will, you know, actually fire off a missile. Considering how fast the bandit attacks in the first place, having this is a fantastic thing. Shackles is decent. Chance of uh, slow on attack, or maybe it's guaranteed slow. I can't remember. Crowbar I talked about. Just increase of damage against healthy foes. Infusion increases my health for... Oh! Nice stuff. Well, actually not nice. Okay. Infusion increases my uh, health every time I kill an enemy. Just flat effect. And that increases bit by... I think it's two for the first one, and then plus one for every additional one. And then, uh... Skull Ring, uh, the Wicked Ring, is really nice. It's something I wish I had on other characters. Uh, not so much the Bandit. Wicked Ring says anytime I score a critical hit, all of my cooldowns are reduced by one second. Problem is, the Bandit's primary thing is his just it's his basic attack. He doesn't really use uh, his other stuff as much. His Wind Walk is about all that he really wants to use. So, reducing the cooldown of my Wind Walk is fantastic. But oh, I want that. I want that scarf. But that's about all it does. I'm not going to end up using you know. Lights out I'll use, that's, you know, I'll use that, but that's about, uh, all I can say for it. If it doesn't land, you know, it doesn't land, that's the thing, it doesn't land. There's my AG Mark I being fantastic. If that effect doesn't land, then there's kind of no point in it. And, uh, it has to actually kill an enemy to be useful. Uh, but that's the other thing about Wicked Ring, you know, the Bandit already has the ability to reset cooldowns. So having Wicked Ring is not an amazing thing because the Bandit already has an even better version of that ability. Don't teleport next to me. I really shouldn't be fighting this because there's no, there's no money. But I kind of want the money. That's why I'm doing this. Prescriptions increases my attack speed and damage for 8 seconds. I should never use this item. Yeah, it's decent. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm liking it. But it's not, uh, it's not the best item I've ever picked up. But having attack speed and damage buff on, uh, on, on hand at all times, on command, uh, feels really nice. That's kind of what I mean about uh, um, that effect needing to actually land. Uh, I got the attack off, but the uh, target wasn't killed by it, so I didn't get my effect. Which sucks. Mostly just popping various attacks as I move around. Still looking for that teleporter. It's around here somewhere. And I've probably gotten all of the items I'm probably going to get on this... Uh, 
on this map, because this map is known for not having really anything on it. There's a chance I will find something on it somewhere, but, uh... Yeah, okay. Tier 2 chest. And Leeching Seed's fantastic, because it's just going to give me health back every time I hit, and we're already playing a character that hits a lot. And Teleporter is right there, and we, yeah... We've basically gotten every item on the map. There's one more over there, which I'm going to hit basically as soon as I get this teleporter. Wow, there are a lot of jellyfish. And we're just going to move over here and continue shooting. Ow, that hurt. Some of them have missiles, too. Their missiles hit more than mine do. And they hit harder than mine do. ATG Mark II is fantastic. It's basically the ATG Mark I, but a higher chance to hit. Or not, sorry. Not a higher chance to hit. It has a lower chance to hit. Lower chance to pop its effect. The good thing with the ATG Mark II is that it pops more missiles. Three missiles, as opposed to just one. Check that out. That's right. Okay, having a problem. We are leaving. I seem to be having a problem getting my health back. I'm not sure. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm actually getting health back from the leeching seed, and that's kind of a problem. No, I am. Okay. I was just having trouble seeing it pop on this rope real quick, because rope says the magma worm can't hit me. Kind of a cheaty face thing, but given the situation. Okay, 200 seconds, or 20 seconds left on this. And then I can officially say that I survived. Not sure if I'm gonna, though. Having a lot of trouble here. A lot of enemies. Lots of damage. That worm almost killed me just now. Got another old box. That's kind of rare. It's a rare enough item as it is. And not a particularly good one at that. Like, it's good stuff, has a decent effect, but it's like if I had to choose between old box and any of a hundred different items. Old box is not necessarily the one I would choose. Okay. Let's hit that up real quick. There's nothing else on this map, so that there's no point not hitting this a couple times. War Banner is... Well, it's not going to save me, but it is decent. It's going to do good stuff. Ow, that was my face. Ow. Okay. Get these guys real quick. You can probably hear my controller. That's how fast I have to hit this thing to really get the really good attack speed out of the bandit. Not allowed to do that. Okay. And a lot of our health just came back. Good stuff. Oh, got some guys up there I have to deal with. That's fine. I'm not happy with some of the items we've gotten because they're just not amazing on the bandit. That being said, <coughs> we have a fairly good build going right now. Uh, I like the fact that we have so many missiles available to us. That's probably one of my favorite things about our current build. There's a couple lights out. One of the major problems with lights out it, with that effect is that it just it has a very long charge up time. So you can't necessarily aim it perfectly. It's annoying. Get me up there. The fact that we're at full health right now is a big one. And we're no longer at full health. That did not last long. Let's 
Let's run over here. Come on, die you. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. That's strange. I should not be using it. Stay alive. Almost there. Almost killed everybody. I'm doing well. Just gotta commit a little bit more mass genocide. We'll be good. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. That's not gonna worse. Leave me alone. Wonderful. 910 gold and nothing to spend on. It's terrible. But we're out. We survived. The important thing is we survived. Where am I on the map? Okay. I know where I am. There's another pill bottle. The game wants me to overdose. And I really want whatever's in that box. Whatever's in that box is the only thing I've wanted my entire life. These guys as fast as possible. God, I love when that happens. Okay, we do have a banner up top, which is good. I'm going to be able to use that in the future as soon as we start getting a large amount of enemies to fight. We've got a Blighted Clay Man somewhere. Not really happy about it. Okay, there's no thing up here. There's no teleporter. There's one of those. And that's an awesome item, and I want it. It's mine. My only, it's my precious. Charge field generator says that when I get a kill, I suddenly get a massive AoE that grows with every kill. And this AoE just does lovely damage and re uh, you know, for every enemy in the effect. It's so helpful. So look at this blighted clay man. Okay, he's over there. Good. Now he's next to me. Kill him. No way. Oh, good, 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 good. See that? See that attack speed increase? That's amazing. Let's go ahead and pick up this tier two over here. There's a blighted sand crab, and that's terrifying because those things kill me all the damn time. All the damn time. And I have no idea where to. Is that it? No, no, no that's just a regular one. That is not the terrifying sand crab. That is just the only mildly scary sand crab. That's the terrifying one. Like to Ooh, holy crap. Nope, no, no, no. Nope. Damn. I was trying to get past it. I'm just, I'm terrible with the, with the bandit. That's all I can say. Okay, folks. I'll see you later.